What is up everybody? It's Gorilla Man here and we are playing Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 today. It has been a little bit over a year since I have done a uh, CMS video on my channel. I used to absolutely love this game. If you guys ever saw any of those videos, drop a like down below to let me know that you saw them because it's been quite a while. Um, just hopping back in here. Uh, I sold quite a few cars that I had here. I think I had this bay, this bay, this bay, and that bay all taken up by just cars that had uh, parts thrown all over. Uh, some of them were like broken. Uh, one of them, like the mods weren't working, so I was like, oh, okay, we'll get rid of you. But this right here, this is one of my, this is one of my best here, everybody. It's my 1965 Mustang. Look at that. I got the Iowa plates on it. Stang. She's looking good. I think, yeah, we got supercharged V8 running 1,100 horsepower. Holy crap. Um, yeah, it's got a little bit of issues on some of the suspension parts, but the entire body and... Let me, let me just... The entire body and the entire engine are mint pristine condition. So that's one of the cars I have, guys. One of the other ones is this Ford GT. I think it's a... I don't remember the year. 2017, yep. 2017 Ford GT. What do we push for power? Only 302. Yeah, it's a V6. Uh, and that's all it's got on right now. Uh, hood isn't actually hood. I uh, did this purely for the cosmetic. Haven't really worked on it too much so far. Uh, the engine is still kind of bad. So um, I will be working on this eventually. I just had in the paint booth here because we got that fresh new coat of paint on it. Oof. Body is uh, not looking too good either. If you look at that, it's got some scratches on it. So before we finish up this paint job, we'll probably want to uh, finish that up. But we'll close the door for now. Keep these keep these good. But if you guys have not seen this uh, this game or anything, uh, it's literally your car mechanic. You can either, let me show you, you can either answer your phone, take orders, or what I do, what I love to do, go here and you go to, not the airport, you go to the junkyard or the car salon. This is like the dealership. This is the junkyard, obviously. You can go get auctions, auctioned off cars where they're in like meh shape. So this is the this is the okay shape of cars. This is the terrible shape cars, and this is the pretty much pristine cars. And then over here we got the barn finds, which is we got three bar finds to do. So that's what we're gonna start off this video with. Is we're gonna go do some barn finds, guys. Um, I think we can find some pretty good stuff here. I got one car I'm looking for in particular right now, guys. It is a truck, 77 F. 250 so i'm looking for that in these barn finds so we're going to be scouring these for quite a while to see if we can find them okay it looks like we got mustang or i think they i can't remember what they call it they call it the dominator and then looks like we got a camino in here oh looks like we got an okay battery uh okay this one isn't that great this one's got a wing on it uh, I assume none of these are gonna have anything in there. We got a case. What's well, got on it? It's got some decent parts on it. Uh, we'll search some more stuff, see if we can find any more cases. But some of this stuff will just be junk and we don't need it. That's why we're probably, we're probably not gonna take these two cars just because we're looking for certain stuff. Uh, we don't need the Hellcat rear bumper. All right, I think we're good there, guys. So this, this is kind of a bust right here. Uh, and we will take the case 200 bucks. We'll take it All right, I'm not sure what the case has in it But we're gonna take it back and open it up cuz I'm not I'm not sure what those are I haven't played this game in over a year guys, so it's a little bit different a little bit different than I remember so we'll go to inventory Oh Look at that camshaft Oh, okay. Ah, plus five quality. So these have quality parts now. Interesting. Okay. We're going to go do another barn find. We're going to do these last two barn finds. And if we don't find anything there, we'll hit the junkyard. If we don't find anything at the junkyard, we'll hit the auction. If we don't find anything at the auction, we'll hit up the salon, which I don't think it will. Or the dealership. I don't think they'll have what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a uh, older truck. 
Uh, anything in here? Any cases? No. No. It's like we got an old charger. Yep, an old old Dodge Challenger. Not bad. That would be a really cool restoration project. I've done that Challenger before, though. A couple of times, so I'm going to... We got another Mustang. Nothing there. I want to find more of those cases, now that I found one. I thought those were really interesting. Hey, found a case. Uh, did I check this junk pile? I did. I did. Okay. Uh, we'll see if we can slip through back here if there's anything else that we can find. Some of these uh, garages, of these barn finds, have a lot of stuff in them. Some of them don't have a lot. Let's see. Another junk pile and the last junk pile. Oh, this is good right here. We need this part. F-250 right side mirror. Yes, okay. I just realized I probably should have been picking up these parts for that car. Because I we will find that car. I can guarantee you guys. I will not leave here empty-handed. F-250 headlight. Anything back here? Nope. All right. We will return to garage. We will buy those parts and take them with us. All right, so we'll hit up our last barn find here. Uh, barn finds, they're like a, they're, you don't really even have a 50% chance of finding the car you're looking for, honestly. Because there's so many cars in this game. Uh, yeah, very, very low percent chance. That GT over there in the paint booth in this one took me forever. I used to have barn finds literally scattered throughout this entire map, but it took me a long time to find it. All right. Last barn find here. Let's cross our fingers. Hopefully it's a big barn. Hopefully we might find what we're looking for. If we see a truck, we might find what we have. Oh my gosh, we found it. Holy crap. Okay, we found what we're looking for, guys. This is a 1977 F-250, and this does have the rear clamshell for the tow package, which is what we were wanting. And there's also a Stingray, or a Bolt Reptilia was what they call it. Oh my gosh. Yes, we found it. Holy crap, guys. Thank you. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Okay, absolutely amazing. Oh, it's so good. I'm so excited to restore this, guys. You have no idea. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, we'll place that in our garage. Get it out of here. I will take that. All right, any parts that we can snag? No, I don't need any of these. I'll take this case and I'll take that. Ooh, we have a good tail light right there, which we can snag. All right, so we'll take the engine block. Engine block will be good. Usually when you find engine blocks or stuff like that, that's like something that you can repurpose for a lot of cars. So you can just take that with you. All right. We will back it out. We'll take these parts with us. I can't believe, guys, that was a, such a small chance, and I can't believe we actually found it. That is absolutely amazing. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we got it all sprayed and cleaned up, got the cobwebs off of her. Hey, paint is not in that bad a shape. But yes, guys, so here you go. This is our 1977 Ford F-250 with the tow truck package called Tow Mater. That's what we'll be calling this bad boy right here. All right, so we're gonna take an overview of this really quick. Looks like it's got a V8 overhead. Okay. Car status here. All right, it's not too bad. Look at that. Car value is at 8,000. We brought it home, we washed her off. It's already, we're getting two grand on it. Which is really cool. Okay, we're gonna send this guy really quick to the uh, parking garage, not Dino, sent to parking. It is it is pretty, but we gotta, we gotta get this, gotta make room. All right, we'll move this one over to, let's go lifter C, I think that's on the side. Uh, actually, no, move it over to lifter A. Move car, lifter A, yes, all right. So, hmm. Pop the hood, see how she looks. First things first, 
we're going to pull our battery out and we're going to bring the battery 29% we're going to see if we can save it all right we're going to throw it right here on the battery tender it'll charge it up while we're working on the car so we can throw it in and see if we can get the motor to start so obviously this car will not start as of right now uh it doesn't even have a top on the engine of the motor so there's no point in me even trying to start it honestly guys um i can't really test it at all either which kind of sucks Hmm. all right we're gonna hop into the motor first all right so motor is not in too great a shape so I'm trying to decide, guys, if we want to do a restore. I think there's a little bit of a glitch here. Yeah, two brake servos. Uh, I'm trying to decide if we want to restore or if we want to swap this motor to something bigger. I think, okay, we'll start out and we will just, we'll restore this. We'll pull it out and we'll take a look at what we can do and then we'll decide. Okay. Let me get the big things out first. The ignition. Okay. I'm gonna get this cap off. So yeah, if you guys have never seen this before. There we go. Or seen uh, me play this game before, it's you literally take apart the entire motor. Oh, I think I don't have any of my achievements for this game either, so I'm going to be getting all the achievements back while we do this. All right, we can get our crankshaft pulley out of there. So our goal right now is to get the front end off, and then we'll get the top end off, and then we'll dive into the interior. Um, but we'll have to probably disconnect the gearbox too while we're at it. I can get this entire motor torn apart in a couple of minutes, honestly. Timing cover off. Let's see how the chains and sprockets look. What's the price? Oh, 30. Okay, so some of, some of these are about 30%, which is actually really, really good. All right, we'll take off. We'll trash that air filter. Probably can't save that. Oh, it's, I didn't realize it was dual carb. The other carb out of here. So the most exciting part of this is usually the ending on how it looks. And I think I'm gonna keep it tow truck. So I'm gonna, I will try and fix that rear clamshell. I think we did find a clamshell for that. That was 50%, so we'll try and save that one instead. Cause we can repair parts. Oh yes, the beauty of taking apart these parts. You gotta take off the rocker arms each one individually and then you gotta take out each push rod individually also it's like this thing is completely starved of oil too jeez pop this off yeah this is really relaxing too guys just chilling here taking apart these motors my favorite part though is when we go take them into the paint booth and we start redoing them. I think I'm gonna probably try and keep this one as factory as we possibly can. I'm gonna try and bring her back from the brink of collapse pretty much. Alright, we'll get some new spark plugs in you, don't you worry. Get this manifold out of here. So we'll get the engine torn apart as far as we can get it. And then we will hop down and rip the gearbox out. If we can, and if it's easier, we might also do an engine swap. There's something a little bit more modern. Uh, just trying to get them push rods out of there and get an uh, electric injection. Or uh, electric manifold. Push rods. This push rod, this rocker arm looks really good, 58%. Uh, so then what we'll do once we get uh, a lot of these parts pulled out is we will hit up the sandblasting table and we will clean all these parts up and we'll see if we can repair them. 
there's uh, like a chance at repairing guys so a lot of these can't be repaired but we will try anyways I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in a second here all right so yeah so to get any more out of the engine here we gotta pop her up on the lift we're gonna bring her up top here uh, where is my engine oil? Nope, that's not my oil can. There she is. Alright, we're gonna hop up below here. Oh, jeez, come on. I guess there is absolutely no oil in here. We'll find out if we lose money here, because you'll lose money on, like, oil disposal. No, we're good. All right. Put her back to the spot where we need it. All right. Let's change out. Get that oil filter out of here. Uh, now we got to get these crankshaft bearing caps out. And now, usually, what I would do, guys, is I would take this entire engine out of the car before working on it. Um, but with it being so rusty in this condition that it's in, we're going to just work on it in the car. And then when we get it out, we will rebuild the entire engine on a stand instead, which will be a lot quicker. Right. Get these bad boys out of here. And then I might have to turn this into a two part series guys, just because it can take a really long time sometimes. I'm just uh, taking apart and then putting it back together. Taking apart, fixing it, putting it back together. Yeah, a lot of these rod caps are not gonna, definitely not gonna keep. All right, let's disconnect this really quick. Uh, we'll get back here to the drive shaft. Ooh. Take these mufflers out while we can. They're missing over half of it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right, let's get these starters. All right, let's see if this sucker's a manual. I don't think it's a manual. Uh, could be. It should be if it's got clutch plates and everything. So the hard part can be putting things back together sometimes. All right, there we go. Uh, we'll drop her back down. All right, now we are going to, hold on, let me just, hold on, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do it. Let me just, we're gonna, Hold on. How, how can I do this? Uh, no, okay. I need to pull this engine out, but I can't remember how to do it. Let me see. No, not. We don't want assemble mode. Examine. No, we don't want to examine mud either. Okay, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just let's just pull off all these pistons. Oh, come on. Let me select the piston. There we go. Pop out each individual piston. Pop over to this side. At least we're not missing any pistons. Because I've had a few of these guys where I was literally missing pistons. How does that happen? Don't ask me. All right, now all we got to do is pull out our crankshaft. Drop her back down. Oh, I'm so excited to finish this one. I think it's going to look absolutely mint by the end. And there we go. 
We got the engine out. All right, well here, before we do anything on the grinder. So, we could swap the engine. It's a double it's a, it's a double carb V8. Um we could switch to a V10 maybe? Mm hmm. Uh give me parts notes. No we don't. Okay. Um, hold on, let me look and see what we're gonna change this thing to. Oh, there's so much swap. There's so many swap engines. Or swap side. Swap. Swappable parts. Alright, so this is what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna repair all of these. So, I'm just gonna tab through all these guys as quickly as I can. It saves you quite a bit of money by doing this, too. All right, there we go. We saved all of it, and then you check your inventory, and then you sell parts that are below 15%. Um, all right, we'll sell any parts that are not 100 then. So it looks like we managed to save the engine block, a lot of the rod stuff, some of the other stuff that we did not save. Let's open up these cases we got. I forgot about these. Alrighty, alrighty. Pop this open. What are those? License plates? Oh, barn locations. Okay. Oh, wow. That does not sell for much. What can we sell this block for? 900 bucks. What can we sell? 1900. What about this one? 1200. Alright. All right, let's add in what? Add an engine to crate. Okay, here. So, what do we want to work on? So we could we could supercharge this. A two carb overhead, that would be pretty sick. Let's, let's keep scrolling and see what we got. We could do some rotary, rotary one, rotary two, a magnum. Okay, we will do, we'll supercharge this just because I think it'll be really cool if we do. What's the two carb make? Not much more power, honestly. All right. So, we'll mount our block. And now comes the hard part of remembering all the parts that we need. Luckily, we have a lot of parts still. Let's see, like right here, ready? And we don't have any. We don't have any of these. Okay, so we hop in here. We go in here to the. I can't remember if we can buy pistons. We can. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna spend the extra money on the on like building the engine because it's just gonna be a regular V8 uh, Just it's just gonna have a supercharger on it. So we're just gonna go stock parts for now guys Yeah stock parts for now It'll be fine All right, we're gonna order ourselves some pistons. I Don't think we need the C's but let me check uh, Nope, we just need pistons with connecting rods Nope. All right, so we're gonna order eight pistons. They're a lot cheaper than having to go through there. Uh, what else are we gonna need? I don't know how many caps we're gonna need, so we'll wait on that. Uh, we need the piston rings. I should have bought them. All right, pick up our piston rings. Got eight of those. Uh oh, nope. Go to part mount. All right, we got these with brand new. 
I wish it would let you go through and automatically just like set all these piston rings in before, but you gotta do them as you're placing them. There we go. So I think what we'll do is we'll go through and we'll finish this, we'll, we'll finish the whole motor, minus, minus the small parts, uh, but we'll finish the whole top end of the motor. Let's see, do we save the heads? We saved both heads, that is impressive. And we could go with uh, like red blocks and everything, but we're not gonna like paint it or anything just cause we don't wanna do the uh, performance ones cause there's no point. All right, we need to pick ourselves up some spark plugs. We're gonna get eight spark plugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we'll pump these back in. And if the music's a little loud, guys, let me know. I can definitely go in and change it, which I probably will before next episode. <laughs> I probably realize it's really loud in my headphones, so it's definitely loud in your guys'. All right, now let's see here. Okay, we need to get a supercharger. We have no push rods and I Assume we have no rocker either. Yeah, we're out of rockers too. Okay. So let's get some push rods. We're gonna get 16 push rods. And then we're gonna get 16 rockers too. See, if we would have went with the other version, with uh, I think it's like the mag engines, they have uh. They have them all all in one, which is really, really nice. Okay. We'll just put these in one by one. And you don't have to do any oiling or any like uh, pre-start engine oils or anything like that, which is really nice. One thing you gotta remember to do though is add oil to the engine when you're done. I cannot tell you how many times I've built cars and I went to start them and it's just like Are you sure you're not missing anything? And I'm like, wait, what do you mean? And they're like, oh, you're missing oil. And I was like, oh my gosh. Rookie mistake. Alright, let's crank these in. Ooh. So we don't have this head cover, but I'm gonna wait to put the head cover on just because we might save this head cover over here. We might have saved it. So I'm gonna wait. Let me see here, there we go. Oh guys, and if you guys made this so far in this video, let me know. Do you guys want to see, if or tell me any type of cars that you guys want to see. Cars, trucks, um, I can see if they have them in the game or if anybody's created a mod for them. This truck here is a mod, so that's why you're seeing it here. But if you want to see it, leave a comment down, down below, let me know, and I will see if we can work on it. Because we most likely probably have it. This game's been out for about two years now, and there's been a lot of mods. All right, so you need the V8 overhead valve engine head cover A and B. So let's tack that onto our order list. Um, V8 overhead valve engine covers. So let's just find them. Oh no, that's not it. Head cover, there it is. We can pick those up pretty cheap, honestly. We'll just do a little cross pattern here. Probably should that side to that side, but I will. It's fine. So the heads are done. Engine heads are done. We do save a distributor. No. Okay. Let's work on the front side. All right. So we're gonna get a cam gear and we're gonna get the cam sprocket too while we're in there. Uh, 
And then we're gonna get a good old sprocket. Nope. Where is it? We're gonna go with this one and hope I bought the right one. Oh, I didn't even buy the right cam gear. That's one of the worst parts. You buy the wrong part. There it is. Can't return it. Yes, got it. All right. I know we saved the cover, which is fantastic. A lot of these uh, singular big parts you can usually save when repairing. No water pump, no pulley. All right, we'll buy our water pump and pulley. Looking for a big old water pump, not rotary. This one right here. And then we're looking for our crank pulley. This one right here. There we go. And we need our water pump pulley, which I think we might still be in there, right? Mm -mm. Water pump pulley. Wait. Supercharger pump. Do we need the supercharger one? We need the supercharger one. Ah, there we go. See, I double checked it. There we go. Supercharger adds a few more belts you gotta slap on. Alright, now we need to get a distributor. Do we have any coils? No, okay. So we're gonna get a distributor. We're gonna get the cap. Yep. We're gonna get the rotor. And then we're gonna get the coil pack that we need. And then we're gonna get a fuel filter. That's the best part is after I play this game enough, I remember everything and we can just go through and buy everything we need in one one big swoop. Oh, we saved the last one. Are you serious? All right, we have any clips? Oh, we got clip B. All right, we need some ignition wires. I got to get clip A on the back here. Oh, we need, okay, we need another clip B. Honestly, if you just bought like a hundred clip bees, that would be the best course of action. Ignition wires for V8. For just the V8, not the V8D. All right, and then we're gonna also get our supercharger. We're gonna get our supercharger and we're gonna get the manifold for it. And our belt. Boom, baby, there we go. What? I bought the wires. I thought I bought them. All right, we're gonna get our manifold slapped on here. This is where the power starts to come in. And we can tune this thing on the dyno too, guys. So it's gonna be pretty exciting. We're gonna probably have to get some more carbs too. We saved one of the four barrels. Okay, and then we're gonna need a scoop air filter. So we're gonna get another four barrel and then we're gonna get two scoop air filters. One of those, and then we're gonna get we're gonna get a scoop. And then we're gonna get two air filters. All right, and then, yes. All right, we got our air intake slapped up. Let's make it to the bottom side of this. I think we saved our, our pumps. Got our alternator. And how serpentine belt. So we need a serpentine belt B V8 overhead valve. Serpentine. Serpentine belt B. Overhead valve. Oh wow, this is a pain. This is it.
So we need belt A overhead valve. There she is right there. I was looking for the I was looking for the pattern. Saved our radiator with some new hardware. Yes, all right, let's see if we save. Let's see if we get some manifolds, we do. All right, that's pretty sick. All right, let's go over here to this side. All right, and the last thing that we will put on for this spot is going to be an oil filter. So we need a V8 overhead valve oil filter. I just heading into like Napa Auto Parts. Just I need this, 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 and this, and they're just like, "What are you talking about?" All right, and now we're going to rotate this so we can work on the bottom end. All right, so we already got our pistons in. So all we gotta do now is secure down our crankshaft. Probably should have done this part next. Or, I mean, second. After you put the pistons in, definitely should have done this part. Thankfully, the game's a little forgiving on me. The engine just didn't drop down out of the block and smash my feet. Oh, it looks like we're gonna have to go buy a couple of rod caps. Looks like we're out of a few. We weren't able to save those last ones. So one of the ways that you can make a lot of money in this game, guys, other than like cheating, obviously, would be by pulling apart a car entirely and trying to repair as many parts as you possibly could, and then just putting even in the, the bad ones, just putting them back in the car. You'd still probably make quite a few, quite a few dollars off of it. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna rotate her back over. Hold on. I can look at the engine stand. And we're gonna see if we can add some oil, because I don't want to forget the oil. Where's our oil fill cap at? There she is. Oh, there we go. We're gonna do the fill. Oh, we can't fill. Okay, it's gotta be in the engine. Alright. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna transplant. Actually, no. We're gonna wait. We're gonna fix this truck up before we put the engine in. There's no need for us to put a perfectly good engine in a truck looking like looking like this. It doesn't look bad, it doesn't look bad, but we could do more. All right, we are going to take off the tires. We're gonna break out the air gun. All righty, I'll hop to the back real quick. See if we can air blast off these rims and fix them up. Alrighty. Alright, let's split them real quick, boys. We'll have to get new rubber on them, but other than that, we can save the rims. Because the rims are the expensive part. These are, th what are these, 325s? 325, or, uh-oh, I think they're different on the front and rears. All right, so we got 16 inches, 16 inches. Okay, so we just need some 16 inch. And then what size are these? These are 75s, okay. So 235, 75, 235, 65. All right, let's go pick some up. All right, we need two at 16 with 235, profile 65. And then same thing with 235, Profile 75. 
Did I? I bought one. Dang it. Let me buy another one. 235, 75. There we go. Alrighty. Let's take this last guy off here. Is that it? Alright, there we go. We got all of them off. We'll see if we can fix up these rims here. Alright, so one of the rims was trash. So, let's see here. Yeah, so one of these 16 inches we, had, we could not use. So we're gonna get rid of all of the old rubber. And then we'll pick up another 16 inch in a second. All right. So we need our basic one, 16 inch. We, need, we don't need any offset, I don't think. I hope we don't. We'll find out if we got a wonky wheel. And now while we're waiting, you should be bouncing. Yeah, so this is a pretty realistic game if you guys, if you guys think so. I, I do think so. Got all those weights and everything. What, really? Uh, I guess we got everything we need. Uh-oh. I think I might have done the wrong. We need another rim. What? Okay, I messed something up here. There we go. Bounce this last guy here. What does it say? Strong XT RF Goodwin. So basically BF Goodwrench. Balance this last one here. And while that one is balancing, we will... We'll throw these tires back on just just for a little bit i won't leave them on there i'm just probably gonna put them on here just just to take a picture of her in a second yo where are we at let's see let me get over here and get to that get to that other tire there we go i wonder if we have the other 65 or on us we do so we're doing 75s in the backs uh 65s in the fronts uh just because it's a, it was a tow truck so uh, bigger wheels in the in the rear just for when she's squatting uh, pulling more weight and don't worry guys we will go back through and fix the suspension I promise you this will be a full restoration oof I know I know what? I messed up, guys. <laughs> I think I put the wrong... Oh, no! Oh, I put the wrong size in the rears. Okay. It's fine. I'll fix it later, guys. All right, but we're going to end it here. We got this done. We got that done. All we need to do next episode is now fix the body and fix the suspension. I'll go through and fix suspension a little bit before we start the next episode just because suspension's boring. Same thing on every car. It takes forever. And now the body on this, though, the body is going to be the exciting part. And then we'll see. Can I open this? Oh, we can't open it. It's going to bang on that. Oh, then we'll see if she can tow anything. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh! We just pulled the clamshell off. Oh no! Oh, we pulled the entire thing off. Oh wow, that looks that's just that's just active. Activate that really easy. All right, guys, we're gonna end it here. Thank you all for watching this far. If you watched this far, if you love this video, if you're loving the series so far, hit that like button. And after the next video, I might do more car mechanic simulator videos instead of just all farming simulator videos. 
Uh, just depends upon what you guys want to see. Just let me know, and I will do it. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see all you guys in the next Car Mechanic, Car Mechanic Simulator video.